Hey guys, Lethal Leslie here and today I'm going to be going over the new patch that's just dropped for Days Gone, patch 1.21, where we finally get our hands on the weekly challenges that they've been promising us just two days before the month's up, which is pretty cool. They finally dropped them, so let's go and have a look what it's all about. First off, I will mention that it is a 20 gigabyte download, so if you are seeing this for the first time, not knowing that it has been added, you might want to go and turn your PlayStation on now and get it downloading because it will take a long time to download. Um, yeah, there's a few other things in the patch as well. There's uh, program issues and uh, progression issues even and general fixes, which I'm not going to go over. It's just more bug fixes. Not too many this time, so they must have the game almost as they like it, but there are some bug fixes in this update as well. We have the weekly DLC challenges and this is what it includes. It's a you versus horde challenge and the horde never ends so you've got to consistently kill the horde, consistently collect ammo and health and that is how you get a good score basically. So the horde will kill you in the end I assume if you go that far you will run out of resources. I, I assume that's how it's going to work anyway, something along those lines. And it's a never-ending horde challenge is week one. And each week on Fridays, we will unlock a new challenge for you to master. So every Friday from now on for the next 12 weeks, we are going to have a challenge, which is really cool. I'm actually quite excited. I've had one go at this yet on a recording that didn't work out. Something was up with the mic, so I had to reset it. And it looks really cool. We will have a look at it in a bit anyway. Earn a bronze, silver or gold rank to earn credits to buy new characters, custom accents and new rings. Those are all new things added in this patch. Once you've completed the challenge, you will earn a challenge patch that will be added to Deacon's jacket in actual story mode as well as in the challenge mode. And there are also some new trophies that link to this new challenge mode as well. So that's basically everything that's been added in the patch. Let's go and have a look. As you can see, it's at the bottom here, challenges. So we're going to click on that now. And this is the first screen you're going to see. So you can see there are 12 X's here. Well, 11 X's and one of them has already been unlocked. And this one is called Surrounded. So this is the first challenge. You can see my first go, I got a score of 6,700. I actually got caught by a timeout. I totally forgot you had to continuously kill the Freakers to make sure that you actually had time to carry on playing. And it caught me out at 6,700. You can see for gold mode, you need 120,000. That's going to be mental. You probably It's probably going to take like an hour to get that. That'd be, I, I don't know how long it'd take, but it'd take a real long time to even achieve gold mode, I'd imagine. So when you click on it, you're going to get this screen here now where you can change your characters. You can see we have Boozer, we have Ricky, we have Iron Mike and we have Nero Soldier. These two are locked. We don't even get to see the rest of them. There are another eight we don't get to see yet. And it costs 45 credits for this one. And it's going to cost you 45 credits for Boozer, 45 credits for Ricky. But we can't afford to buy them just yet. Then you go over to your bike and again all the bike parts are going to cost credits or are not unlocked yet. So we've got to get a certain rank to unlock them and then of course we'll have to buy them. Same goes for the rings basically. You can see they're 30 credits apiece and these are basically like perks to help you in the game as well. Like this one for instance where Volton regenerates a portion of your stamina. I did try and say this one in the recording but man it felt like a little bit of a tongue twister. So I decided to go for Ram instead. So yeah, you're going to buy these rings as you go along and it's going to make you even stronger in the game. And then you have your patches. As you can see, there's 12 here. So you've got to go ahead and try and unlock each patch one at a time. We haven't unlocked this one yet. I assume if you get the bronze, you will unlock the patch. Um, I don't know what you get if you get the silver and the gold, whether you get some extras or something like that. But we haven't unlocked it yet. So we're going to be trying to do that probably in another video once I've got to grips with the game really. And this one is just to show you the path. And that's basically it. You can see some challenges down here next to it of things you can do to get yourself some credits and rep, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to try and do them as well. I'm probably going to go ahead and smash this after this video now, trying to play it as much as I can to really get to grips with it. And, you know, I'm quite excited to as well. One giant horde that never ends sounds like a dream to me personally, because I always thought, thought the hordes were a little bit too easy in the game. So I'm hoping this will be much more of a challenge. I'm going to leave this one there anyway guys, let me know what you think of the new challenge mode in Days Gone in the comment section down below. If you liked the video, like the video, subscribe if you want to see more, thanks for watching as always and take it easy.